that Point de la Torche now, where the uh, influence of the Atlantic fetch, uh, the fact that the waves are travelling about 5,000 kilometres from the Caribbean over to hit the, the coast of Europe, it means that we can see some quite spectacular uh, wave formations in the bay behind me. Now, we have surfers out on, out on the waves at the moment, um, but they're not always surfing. They only get up on, on particular waves to come in. And the waves that they choose are the bigger waves. Um, and so there is a mix of large waves and smaller waves. And the reason why the waves aren't a constant height is due to a process which we call wave superpositioning. And that is when waves are actually created uh, in a hurricane or a stormy sort of situation out in the, in the, middle, of the uh, middle of the ocean. They then disperse as swell waves, but the bigger waves uh, um, travel at a different speed to the smaller waves, and so they separate out into different packages of waves. Now occasionally those wave packages overlap so that the crests from one wave um, actually coincide with the crests of a, of an, a wave from another package. But we've got to remember that it's only energy that is being transported here, uh, that is being uh, uh, moved through the, through the water column. And so where you have two wave crests superimposed on one another, the uh, height of each of those individual waves add together to make them bigger. So if you, if you have a two over, uh, an overlapping uh, set of packages coming into the coastline, the first couple of wave crests will be small because they belong to the smaller wave, uh, wave group. You've got a couple that are uh, large because they are basically two waves superimposed on one another which gives them a higher uh, uh, height. Uh, and then after that you have another lull in the wave height because you've got uh, individual waves again. So this is wave superpositioning where you have the um, imposition of one set of waves on another. Um, and so the surfers are waiting there for those larger waves uh, to, to come along which, they're done, which they'll then surf. And that's the, they're the waves which are overlapping. And that sort of rhythmic um, arrival of these large waves at the coastline is known as surf beat. Now another reason why we've got surfers here at Point de la Torche is that the, the, the bay here um, has this headland which we stood on pointing out into the ocean. Now that means that um, the submarine contours offshore this headland uh, mean that the waves start to shoal uh, very quickly uh, as the waves approach the coastline which means that the friction that they then experience with the seabed raises the, uh, the wave height um, uh, and due to the process of refraction. Uh, and so we get these lovely curved outlines of the waves um, and, they, and consequently they're very steep. And eventually they, the waves are closer to the headland actually swing round due to refraction to break up along the headland. Um, so there's a combination of factors. The long fetch means that the waves got a long uh, distance over which to be generated. You've got these different packages of waves which can be superimposed on one another uh, and when they are superimposed um, in phase then the waves are higher so to create ideal waves for surfing and also you've got the the uh, refraction that's going along uh, around the headland which in places close to the headland produces higher than average waves as well so it's ideal for the surfers who hang around there for the surf beat.